The ethmoid bone is a small bone that sits in the middle of the frontal bone. At the front is this point called the crista galli, and then the flat area behind the crista galli is called the cribriform plate. In the cribriform plate, there are little holes, which are the cribriform foramina. Remember, a foramen is a hole, and foramina is just plural of foramen. You may also see these holes referred to as the olfactory foramina because the olfactory nerve is your nerve for smell and it has little extensions that extend down through the foramina and then they end up on the roof of your nasal cavity. So when you're breathing in, when you're smelling things, little chemicals are binding to the receptors on those extensions from the olfactory nerve and that's what's giving you your sense of smell. Looking at the disarticulated ethmoid, we can see the point at the front which is the crista galli and then the flat area behind it is the cribriform plate. We cannot really see the cribriform foramina very clearly. They're very exaggerated on this model. Typically, you do not see them as clearly as you do here. But what you can see are these little openings here, which are the openings to the ethmoid sinuses. Going back to the whole skull, there's this big septum in the center of the nose. If we kind of cut that in half right here, the top half of that septum is the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. And then next to it, those little shelves are the middle nasal concha. So remember, these guys at the bottom, those are the inferior nasal concha. They are not part of the ethmoid bone. They are completely separate. The middle nasal concha are part of the ethmoid bone, as are the superior nasal concha. However, you cannot really see the superior nasal concha on a whole skull. Um, they're more easily viewed if you're looking at the medial view. So this is the, our inferior nasal concha, middle nasal concha, and superior nasal concha. If you go to the school I work at, don't panic at the sight of this unfamiliar model. Um, at least as of right now, we aren't using an AMP1, but everybody always asks me about the superior nasal concha, so I figured I'd point it out. Looking at the disarticulated ethmoid, you rotate it this way, that's the anterior view. Right in the center, that's the perpendicular plate. If you look immediately next to it, that's the middle nasal concha. And the middle nasal concha are actually part of a larger structure called the lateral mass. So the perpendicular plate is dividing your ethmoid bone into a right and left half. This half of the ethmoid bone is a lateral mass. That half of the ethmoid bone is a lateral mass. And then another structure on the lateral mass the lateral wall is called the orbital plate because if we look at the skull, remember this is our nasal bone. If we cross a suture, then we're in our maxilla. Cross another suture, this is the lacrimal bone. Cross this suture, that is the ethmoid bone. So the orbital plate is the part of the ethmoid bone that you can see in the inside of the eye socket. All right, so that's all the information I have for you about the ethmoid bone, but if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Hope this was helpful, have a great day, and have fun learning.